Hi, this is Richard Francisco Perez Jr. I am coming to you today because of 1199, the hospital union back in New York, which is not paying my Medicare benefits. Now, I know they had a meeting on Friday because when I called in to report a change of address and to um, find the uh, fax number so I can fax them a electronic bag statement because I want to transfer my money to a different bank. Now, the woman couldn't put it in the computer. Why? Is there more shenanigans going on there? Because since Dennis Rivera took over the union from a great union leader, Doris Turner, our union has gone down the drain. Using non-union uh, labor to make buttons. Uh, everything he has done was non-union. How can a person who was, who was elected president of the union, because the union is its membership, how the hell can he spend money on non-union items? That goes against union law. And why is it that I can't get any benefits that I have earned working in St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital Center as a darkroom technician and trained as a hemodialysis tech. So why is it today administration, because Dennis Rivera has moved on to greater things, because he doesn't care about the membership. Because if he cared about the membership, he would have never given back to management all that money that Leon Davis, the founder, that the previous and great woman who led our union, she didn't give back the money to the uh, management of the hospitals. You know, if you wanted to give the membership an increase, well, you should have cut the dues. But no, Dennis Rivera opened up the bank to the uh, administrators and gave them the union's money, my money. And that should never have been done. And these cronies now who are leading my union, oh, they talk a good talk, but they don't walk to walk. You know, uh, they need to be replaced or the union needs to be disbanded. Because from Dennis Rivera on, we have had people in there that have stolen my benefits. And I am not standing for it anymore. You want the proof? Go through the records of Social Security. Yes, I'm calling on the federal government to get off their buttocks and do some work. Because like the DMV uh, in 
Seattle, who, when I lost my license recently, first time I didn't get an eye exam. But when I went back to check on why I didn't get it, well, they blamed the post office. Hey, post office workers, are you going to take the blame for the DMV not doing their jobs? Because the second time, they, the lady told me, hey, if we got to replace it, again, you have to pay an extra $20. Plus, I got an eye exam. Plus, she questioned me. And I'm, in this video, questioning her sanity. How dare she treat a voter because if the mayor wants to be voted in again, he better fire that woman. And the other woman who gave me a ticket because they could have gotten my picture off the computer. So why did I have to go there again and jump hoops? Because they failed to send me a driver's license. Well, Seattle DMV, you're acting like criminals. Deny me my driver's license. And no, I will not pay again. I want to get my driver's license because I paid for it. And you had me take another eye exam, which I find strange. And the questioning by that woman was disgusting. If anybody's crazy, she's the one crazy. Or is this done because the unions who uh, have been stealing from me well, not the union per se, but the executive board. Because the union is the membership. Did she get orders from her union to do this? Mr. Mayor, I hope it's so. Because if not, then you're responsible for the criminal activities going on at the DMV in downtown Seattle.